you're on the road so much. Do you do you like traveling? Do you? Uh, do you I mean, you must love being on stage. Yeah, I, I love I love doing stand up. I mean, stand up is you know it's it's my day job. It's mm -hmm. it's where it's, I, it all started and. Right. Uh, why I'm sitting here talking to you is, is from stand-up. Right. So I, I still do it. I still love it. Um, it's still the most challenging part. And definitely traveling is is hard. Getting yes. there is hard. Yeah, because yeah. it's a lot of... Well, it's the, we talk backstage. It's the flying. It's the, in the hotel rooms. But flying has gotten tougher. F flying is ridiculous. It's like been like three flights that have been diverted because uh, people break out and have fights on the planes. Really? Yeah, the passengers are fighting on the plane. But I, I see why, because... The seats are now like two inches closer, and we've gained 10 pounds. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that makes people angry. Like, like, flying has now become like a social experiment just to find out what's your breaking point. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, what can you take? <laughs> and, and I feel sorry for when I, I, I get on these flights and I see these really big guys, these big dudes, and, and they get on, on the flight and they in that little coach seat and they, they sit them all like this and everything. I'm like, I hope he has kids already because he's sterile <laughs> when he gets off of this flight. <laughs> Something crushed there. They, I don't, <laughs> and I don't think they bounce back. I'm, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> that has to be hard. And I almost got into a fight. I almost got into a fight. Um, because I was on a, a flight, flight from here, from Burbank to, to Vegas, and you know, the, the, the seats are so tight, you can't just get up. You gotta grab the back of the headrest of the seat in front of you to pull yourself up. And that pisses anybody off, you yeah. know? And, and I, I, I was getting up and I grabbed the headrest, and this woman went, ow! And I was like, oh God, oh Lord. And I looked and I had a fist full of hair. <laughs> And I just said to myself, Lord, please don't let this be black woman's hair. Please don't <laughs> let this be <laughs> black woman's hair. And I looked down, it was blonde strands. So I got excited. I was like, yeah, Whew, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and I was like, what? You got a problem? Uh, you got a problem? Uh, huh? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> because. I know. Yeah, yeah. Last thing you yeah. want. Last thing you want to see a black woman sitting there uh -huh. with baby powder on her chest. That's uh -huh. where it's over. <laughs> Is that what? You, you see a black, big black woman with baby powder on her chest? Uh -huh. Oh, you getting your butt whooped. You uh -huh. getting a... <laughs> it's, it's good to know. It's over. I had no idea. And now I'll look for the baby powder. Yeah, if you I ever see know. that, just run. Oh, okay. Just run. <laughs> she doesn't care. Okay. You come out your house with baby powder on your chest, you don't care about nothing. <laughs> What is it for, the baby powder? I have no idea. Okay. I'm not <laughs> gonna find out.